I'm Gillian Brown and I'm based at Newcastle University, the MedEv Subject Centre. My OER project was called ACTA, which stands for Accredited Clinical Teaching Open Resources. Uh, it was for lead, uh, postgraduate lead stroke tutors who deal with accredited courses in postgraduate education, but it's things like uh, masters in clinical education, those kind of courses. So they're a very, very small community and it was basically spreading the word about open educational resources, how they could contribute to them and how they could benefit from them. I think what makes the ACTA project special, uh, particularly in, in reference to licensing and OER, is that this is a very small community of people who um, take care of accredited programmes in clinical education. So these people are clinicians, they're extremely busy, trying to get uh, meetings with them was an absolute nightmare. And because they are so busy, I think the OER message had, a lot of them had completely passed them by. A lot of them were also very unaware about their own institutions and about what they were and were not allowed to do in regard to IPR and licensing. The IPR issues and challenges that we faced in the project is that when you spoke to the academic staff who worked as partners on the ACTA project and you said to them, who holds your policy and what does your institution allow you to do, they had absolutely no idea. That was a distinct challenge because it's not only the not knowing of what to do, but it's the also where do they go within their own institution to find that information. Do they go to a data protection officer? Do they go to their library? They had absolutely no idea and some of them didn't want to open a can of worms by asking that kind of question because then suddenly they might find that you know doors slammed in their faces and they weren't allowed to to actually do anything so that that was quite a challenge we did manage to overcome quite a few of them but to start with progress was really really slow for that reason We overcame the challenges one of the main tools that we used was the MEDEV risk assessment kit uh, that went through step by step exactly what you had to do when you were trying to make a resource uh, an open educational resource. It would make sure that you'd cross the T's and dot the I's and made sure that everything was done. Um, that came from information that we managed to get everywhere, including web to rights. I spent an awful lot of time on their website downloading all of the information that was on there to do with copyright and taking all of the academics that I was working with step by step through the toolkit um, was time consuming but once they'd done it once or twice they knew what they had to do and what they had to look for. So we, that was the main tool that we used. Um, communication wise we blogged all of the time, we used Skype, we used uh, Illuminate for the meetings that we had because like I said clinical diaries are a nightmare and trying to pin down these people was very difficult face to face so Illuminate was really useful and also when it came to project management we used Basecamp for project management and that was a fantastic tool because there's a lot of um, different things on there like whiteboards and you can put spreadsheets in and everybody's copied into everything if they want to be or they can always have somewhere to refer to so there was quite a lot of technology that we used including things like Facebook and Twitter and all the different types of social technologies so that we could advertise when something had been uploaded as an open educational resource. Mm -hmm.